Floyd Mayweather Jr., the boxing legend, seems to be systematically removing members of his old team who disagree with him. The latest casualty is Leonard Ellerby, the former CEO of Mayweather Promotions. Ellerby, known for his significant contributions to the company, did not hold back after his departure, criticizing Floyd openly. Leonard Ellerby has stepped down as CEO of Mayweather Promotions, a position he has held since the company's inception in 2007. This move has caused significant uncertainty about the company's future. Ellerby played a crucial role in promoting major fights, including the blockbuster Mayweather vs. Pacquiao bout. He was also instrumental in developing Gervonta Tank Davis into a pay-per-view star. Ellerby's departure is particularly surprising given his recent denials of rumors about leaving. He has been a pivotal figure in the company's growth and success, promoting major fights and managing top fighters like Gervonta Davis. Ellerby was set to promote Davis's fight with Frank Martin, which will be his last in this role. This development adds to the challenges faced by premier boxing champions, PBC, which recently signed a TV deal with Amazon Prime Video. Despite this new partnership, PBC has seen many top fighters leave, including Canelo Alvarez, Terence Crawford, Deontay Wilder, Sabriel Matias, Ray Vargas, and Alvis Rodriguez. Unlike its competitors, Matchroom Boxing and Queensbury Promotions, PPC lacks a strong presence in Saudi Arabia, further complicating its position in the global boxing landscape. Mayweather Promotions has appointed Richard Schieffer as the new CEO. Schieffer, who previously led Golden Boy Promotions and founded Ringstar Sports, has a proven track record in organizing major boxing events, including the historic Mayweather vs. De La Hoya fight. Schieffer is ready to tackle the challenges ahead, expressing excitement about expanding Mayweather's brand both in and out of boxing. He praised Mayweather's global influence and massive social media following, seeing great potential for growth. Schieffer brings extensive business experience, while Mayweather provides deep knowledge of boxing and talent evaluation. Together, they plan to develop fighters and elevate the sport. Mayweather Promotions expressed deep gratitude for Ellerby's exceptional leadership and dedication over the years. The official statement mentioned that Ellerby decided to step down to spend more time with his family. However, there is speculation that he was fired, given the abrupt nature of his departure and his recent denial of rumors about leaving. Adding to the drama, Gervonta Davis has advised boxers against signing with Mayweather Promotions, indicating a significant strain in their relationship. This is a stark contrast to their last public interaction, where they embraced after Davis defeated Ryan Garcia. Since then, tensions have escalated with Davis accusing Mayweather of being stuck in Dubai due to unpaid debts. Mayweather countered by mocking Davis and praising Shakur Stevenson's skills over Davis's. Despite the tensions, Ellerby has remained focused on promoting Davis and his fight with Frank Martin. He has praised Davis as the best and most exciting fighter in the world, emphasizing his dominance in his weight class. Ellerby also continued to share updates and videos about Davis and Frank Martin on social media, ensuring that the fight remains in the spotlight. The departure of Ellerby and the appointment of Schieffer mark a significant shift for Mayweather promotions. Schieffer is optimistic about the future, noting the opportunities to grow the brand globally. He believes that the partnership with influential figures, including those in Saudi Arabia, will bring new fans and opportunities to the sport. Mayweather Promotions aims to support fighters worldwide and help them make successful business decisions that benefit their lives beyond boxing. Establishing a new headquarters in Los Angeles is part of this plan which seeks to elevate the company to global success. Leonard Ellerby's departure has not gone unnoticed by fans. Someone suggested that his frequent posts about Davis are an attempt to spite Mayweather. Davis, on the other hand, has been openly critical of Mayweather, calling him a poor businessman and warning others that signing with him could ruin their careers. This ongoing feud adds another layer of complexity to the situation. As Mayweather Promotions navigates these changes, it faces additional challenges. Many top fighters, including Canelo Alvarez, Deontay Wilder, and Fritz Crawford, have left premier boxing champions. Although PBC recently secured a deal with Amazon Prime Video, its future remains uncertain. The company also lacks the strong connections in Saudi Arabia that competitors like Queensbury Promotions and Matchroom Boxing have, raising concerns about its ability to stay competitive in the current boxing landscape. Floyd Mayweather continues to move forward with his plans despite these challenges. He has announced a rematch with John Gotti IE on August 24. Their first exhibition match ended in chaos with Mayweather dominating the fight until the referees stopped it due to offensive language from both fighters. 
The incident led to a brawl involving both Enturages and Gotti was suspended for six months by the Florida Athletic Commission. Now that Gotti's suspension is over, fans are buzzing about the upcoming rematch and Mayweather's ongoing feud with Davis. Richard Schieffer's appointment as CDO is seen as a strategic move to revamp the brand. Schieffer, who has a long-standing friendship with Mayweather, brings a successful history in boxing to the table. He is excited about the opportunity to expand Mayweather's brand and grow the sport of boxing. Schieffer's business acumen combined with Mayweather's deep knowledge of the sport is expected to drive the company forward. Schieffer is optimistic about the future of boxing, especially with the involvement of influential figures from Saudi Arabia. He believes this partnership will attract new fans and create new opportunities for the sport. Schieffer is eager to collaborate with Mayweather to build on their past successes and navigate the evolving landscape of boxing. Leonard Ellaby, who has been with Mayweather Promotions since its inception, played a crucial role in promoting major fights and developing Gervonta Davis into a pay-per-view star. His departure was surprising, particularly given his recent denial of rumors about leaving. This has led to speculation that he was fired. As Mayweather Promotions moves forward, Schieffer is focused on expanding operations and establishing a new headquarters in Los Angeles. The goal is to support fighters worldwide and help them make successful business decisions that benefit their lives beyond boxing. This new chapter promises continued global success for Mayweather Promotions. Leonard Ellerby's departure from Mayweather Promotions has sparked a variety of reactions from fans. Some have suggested that his frequent posts about Davis are an attempt to spite Mayweather. Davis has also been critical of Mayweather, calling him a poor businessman and warning others that signing with him could ruin their careers. This ongoing feud adds another layer of complexity to the situation. Despite the drama, Ellerby has remained focused on promoting Davis and his fight with Frank Martin. He has praised Davis as the best and most exciting fighter in the world, emphasizing his dominance in his weight class. Ellerby continued to share updates and videos about Davis and Martin on social media, ensuring that the fight remains in the spotlight. Mayweather Promotions is undergoing significant changes, but with Richard Schieffer at the helm, the company is poised to navigate the challenges ahead. Schieffer's experience and vision, combined with Mayweather's knowledge and influence, are expected to drive the company to new heights. The future of Mayweather Promotions looks promising as it embarks on this new chapter.